This HAN Network video is brought to you by Carl Chevrolet. We are at Staples High School and the HAN Network's FCAC Fall Tour rolls on. I'm Frank Granito and I am joined by the captains of the girls swimming and diving team here for the Wreckers. They are Caroline Gray, Kenzie Healy, and Christina Wasserman. Girls, thank you for taking time with us out of the preseason today. We're excited to have you. Caroline, I'll start with you. You guys graduate a pretty big senior class. What's your role as a captain in filling those holes now? Um, it's really important to make sure the younger girls know that they have to step it up, um, but at the same time have a lot of fun. So we're trying to make sure that we can fill all of our events without having to lose any races. So it's kind of important to make sure that everyone's just stepping it up a lot and at top of their game. Obviously, the training for the season goes all the way back to the summer. What was the off-season program like for your team, and how do you guys you know, run that for those younger kids? Uh, we started our captain's practices the week before our tryouts began, and we had um, a club coach help run the practices in the water, and the three of us ran dry land outside of the water. So we were working on core and leg training just to make sure when we got in the pool on August 25th that we were ready to go. Christina, you guys had a pretty good season last year, high finishes at FCAC, State Opens, and the State Class Tournament. How do you build off that experience and, and translate it into this next program's here? Um, we did have a really great season, but I'm sure we can do it again. We just have to make sure every girl understands how important this team is to all of us, and they're all dedicated, working hard, having fun, and I think we can really like step up our game and meet that goal again. Who are some of the younger players or new swimmers that we might see make an impact for the Wreckers this fall? Um, definitely Esme Hunter. She's one of our fastest freshmen. She's been on the Water Rats team for a little while and also some 70, I believe. And she's really great all around in all strokes. So we're hoping to see a lot of uh, action in the water. Um, also a bunch of sophomores that we've had last year who've really improved over the course of the um, winter and spring season. Um, Olivia Utter, Mia Frost. Uh, Marissa Healy and Michelle Kennedy, who all really helped us a lot last year with our wins, and we think they'll do the same again this year. Obviously, like every girl plays a huge part in this team, so I think every person will find their spot and will do really, really well with the lineup we have. Christina, if there was something about this group that's going to set it apart from the teams of past that, that really makes it a special group, what do you think that is? We're definitely the most hardworking team I've ever met. Like we, we, we work like every day as hard as we can. There's no slacking. Like everyone just knows what's going on and they never stop trying. And I think that sets us apart a lot. Got a lot of heart. What are the meets you guys are most excited for this year? Um, well, I'd say Ridgefield. They're definitely a close competitor with us. Almost every season it's come down to the final relay and that's just a really great moment to have, you know, where everyone's cheering, screaming, and you don't really know. And it's the last finish that uh, scores those points. How about you, Caroline? Oh, well, definitely same. Uh, we've been, you know, against them for four years, so it's kind of it's an awesome way to go out of the season, even though it's like, not the end, but it's always a great, like, celebration victory when we beat them by just a little bit, just a little bit, and it's like that just that little point that changes the whole meet. So it's kind of just the same team, definitely. Christina, if you had goals for the season as a group, what do you think they'll be? I think that the goal is basically to get every girl on JV or varsity to reach their best time and their best feeling in the water and so I hope as a team we make a great goal together and we reach that goal but I hope each girl individually also gets to their goal. Well girls thank you so much it was a blast talking with you really great job we look forward to seeing you in the water this fall and we wish you the best of luck throughout the season this year. Make sure you stay tuned for the entirety of the 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour right here on the HAN Network.